Welcome back, everyone. I am the Depressed Dior, and this is Brigadine. It's us. It's uh, our team of fifteen versus a team of five. I wonder how we'll do. Are they really gonna stick around? I say this every time. And I'm always shocked. I mean, the only reason I would stick around if I'm outnumbered is if I felt like there's a chance I can kill some of their key units. So this may potentially bait out an attack, which is completely fine by me. I really want to get a level uh, 20 archer. Because it's r so good. Okay. I don't think any of them can be in range anymore. Nope. I mean, the quickest, quickest way to make them do stuff is just to hit them, but I'm not that reckless. Unless I'm using like a level 20 melee character. I can do here. Uh, there's only one unit within range. But I can do react. And then cast again. Yeah, 
we'll do Thunder. And then... Target that Angel. Target their uh, siren. Uh, we'll do it this way. can do here is I can shoot your Archangel and take all that experience. It's a little too risky for me to get in range of the Divine Ray, so I'm not going to do that. not be in range, so that much I can do with that. Okay. Just shoot you from there, I think. Let's retreat is the only option for this disadvantageous situation. Yeah, we killed all their monsters, so it is to be expected. It's much uh, been nice to kill her as well, because she's worth quite a bit of experience, but... Killing the monsters was worthwhile. But this is only one battle. Alright. A graceful fight results in a mag most magnificent victory. Who needs a front line when you can just kill everything with magic and arrows? 16 archer, nice. Miners all, yeah. God, that's a brutal loss. But they're no longer split anymore. Well, actually, they are split because I just split them again. Okay. I'm pretty even here. I think I have one extra monster. Yeah, I have one more monster than them. But their monsters are actually somewhat tankier, I suppose. And we get to see the Barrett Fairy. Alright, the capital again. All right. So one one unit of note to point out. So this is pick. Elena's protection increases intelligence by ten percent and recovers twenty percent of max HP every turn in battles started with Elena. So anytime he's with uh, Elena, he gets a uh, he gets a significant buff. 
Um, his attack is actually not that terrible, but his main thing is he does have access to thunder and paralysis. Um, and that's about it. I, I do believe he gets upgraded if you get to a certain point in the in the Nerzalia storyline. This Barret Fairy is devilishly mischievous. Elena rescued him when he was still a baby Barret, and he has followed Elena ever, uh, around ever since. Referring to her as his princess, never honest about, with anyone other than Elena, he speaks rudely even to Prince Rubino. For Elena, however, he, he would willingly sac sacrifice his own life. His powers are still weak as he has yet to transform into, into his adult body, but he excels at providing cover for allies and confusing the enemy as he zips across the battlefield. Alright. It's going to take us a little bit to actually get there. Since they lost that other territory, that means all their knights are either... I believe they're all, all, all over here now. But they are all wounded, so... But all their monsters are also over here, but I think they have lost majority of them. But the point being is as they get consolidated, reconsolidated together again, um, they'll be able to use their full resources to try to defend. Though at this point they have suffered such huge losses that uh, they're probably not going to get very far, especially once I take their capital again. One thing I might do with um, uh, Kara is eventually switch her to a different class. She won't have very much many levels left to actually upgrade any to any other classes though is the kind of the issue. She can hit like tier two of one class, so I might just stick with the same class, just just to show it off. Nice crit. Really? They just stayed back, huh? Oh, hey, pick. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's happening. I'm not too concerned about pick, so let's just uh, get our flank on here.
Thank you for being in Divine Ray range. Alright, thank you for the XP. Level 19. So that needs another 791 to level up. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead and surround Pick, since he provided that opportunity for us. Alright, I can upgrade you. I'm probably going to make you into a phoenix. Oh, I didn't mean to crit. Well, dragon stole the kill. I'm sorry! Alright, well, I'm just gonna shift over then. Still gonna stick with this, huh? Ow. Alright then. Not much. I kinda need to heal now, so let's go ahead and do the heal. Unfortunately, this means my, uh, my sirens can't really get any closer. Uh, but we do go before them, so... Yeah, we'll just play it safe. Oh, do you have protect up? Good for you. All right. Dark breath. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, you can safely go there without too much issue. range, I'm assuming. Yep, but I can spell break. No, I can't. You're not in range for spell break either. So, never mind. Alright, well. 91%. Nice crit, jeez. Luck. I don't think you're gonna hit though. Never mind, we're good. Ruby, I'm sorry. Bye bye, you. Oh, you're staying. That means I can kick out your Arc Demon. Your Arc Demon can nearly kill my my rock. All right. I'm assuming he has resist. 
No, he doesn't even have resist anymore. He did have resist for a bit, I think. Oh my god, it's just short. Well, not much I can do about that then. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, just move away. Okay, well, I can take out your demon at least. for 57. Nope. You're out of range. Alright, well, it was a good try. He's gonna retreat. He has nothing left to attack with. We were unprepared. We'll win next time. We'll see about that. I can soar to greater height still. Alright, looking good. Level 18, nice. Yeah, being able to take out um, their archer. They lost 5 units there, and at that point they had nothing left. I think that's it. I think they're down to one location. Alright, that's fine. Quest results. Light edges, nice. Dark gauntlets. Eternal Hellfire, a secret treasure that awakens a dragon to its primordial form. So yeah, some uh, monsters have a higher tier that can only be unlocked through items, and we got got one of them. And we got an accessory for monsters. A high lizard man for free. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, bad news is the monster's all the way over here. So we'll have to send somebody to send somebody down to deliver. Oh, actually, they are not down to their last base. They're close to their last base, but not down to the last one. 
but I'll be I'll be taking out both of these guys at once, so it's gonna happen regardless. Uh, Iron Golem, a Cyclops, and then meanwhile over here they have this essentially, and that's assuming they're not starving because they might delete some. They might they may delete units. Yeah, they're gonna delete at least one unit. So they can meet their uh, upkeep. Oh, the Gustavo Empire is getting better. They have 10 monsters now. Look at them. Alright. Uh, we do have some class ups to do. Oh, it's, it's because we have the item. So yeah, if we want to... We can actually go Ancient Dragon. Uh, which is another 25. Um, and they essentially get access to, um, deals, yeah, deals major damage to a single adjacent unit, uh, deals massive damage to a single adjacent unit, and then they have a five, uh, five hex, uh, breath attack. They become just, yeah, it's just, they're monsters at that point. Problem is, is I don't think I have room for any of those. I mean, you're. I would have to swap out. Yeah, I would have to swap out something to get 10 points back, essentially. Which, if I can get. If I can get uh, 4 rune power, we can make something happen. But only if we can get more rune power here. So, mana potion. Cool. So, with that, we can do. this, and that gives me 25. And I'm gonna do it on the upgraded guy, because that's. That needs already fire element as well. So he'll go up to 2000 CP just by himself. Alright. Look at that. So here you are. You got, uh, Yeah, have some resistance. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that I have a super powered uh, melee strike. They're extremely accurate. Yeah, they're even more accurate than uh, normal. Um, they're still planes based and elemental dragons that receive power from eternal hellfire and revert to their primordial form. Uh, following a class change. On top of being top tier attackers, the breath attack have an intimidating range and, and, and they can learn skills that deal massive damage to a single target. Though they easily overcome green type enemies, blue type attacks are their weakness. That is true. Um, we can also do... If I really just want to stack CP, I can, I can do this. Making it so she has 7109 by herself, which is ridiculous. So there's 18,000 there. Uh, we are going to go ahead and move back. Alright, we do have a class level up here as well. This is going to be kind of difficult to fit though. Yeah, it's another 25 for either one of them. Which we can do. Let's see. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Do 
do that. That works. And then we can do a class change here. We'll go Phoenixes. They have access to Fireball. Or not, or sorry, Flame or whatever it's called. Alright. What was I looking for? Oh, let's compare knives. So, 3, 5, agility, attack, and then this provides accuracy, which honestly we don't really need for assassin. Their accuracy is already plenty good. Okay. Then we're good to go. Yeah, so we have a lizard man there. Um, as much as I would like to grab it, I'm just gonna leave it there. If we ever need to pick it up, I'll use it with a. I'll grab it with a new unit if we ever get one. So end phase. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So with this we'll be attacking from three bases. So what do we got here? Sizzler. This eminent uh, rune knight has protected Nerzalia alongside Gratus and Giu since Rubino III took the throne. As the leading actor for the popular Imperial Theater, Ong's good looks often draw longing glances from the, the ladies he passes on the street. His beloved wife uh, passed away giving birth to Elena, but he managed to overcome his grief by raising his daughter with great love. As any loving father would, he worries endlessly about his daughter fighting on the battlefield as a full-fledged rune knight. Nothing else of note over here. Uh, I don't know if we had Iron Golems before, so... Main thing is they have access to Rock Throw. It's not very accurate. If you happen to be get them in Mountains, though, it does do pretty decent. And it's also just something they can do for, from a distance, which is better than most cases. And they get a little bit of magic resistance. They're still super vulnerable to magic, though. Bronze Golem's new form following a class change. Their metal bodies are stronger and able to resist magic. They can also use long range attacks but have poor accuracy. Uh, working with other units to surround enemies is an effective tra strategy. Uh, I think that next tier after this one's Mithril, though I I don't think I've ever seen a Mithril Golem. Alright, uh, so we got Paladin Grados. He is actually he's level 24 and geared up. So, um, yeah, and he has access to Divine Ray. Go him. As a general of the Nerzalio Kingdom, his hero, this hero is fiercely loyal to the royal family and has proven, proven his bravery by defending his country in many battles. As Prince Rubina's military and literary arts teacher, the young prince looks up to him as a father, especially after King Rubina III's death. His only weakness is an uncontrollable sneezing before beautiful women. Having devoted his entire life to the royal family in the battlefield, he is known for his guileless personality. Although that may have also contributed to his lifelong uh, singleness. Maximilian, a knight. Talented with the sword since childhood, this young man has, has been trained and honed by Brendan himself. Sword training was his whole life until he saw Alina's oath. The play turned him into a committed theater fan. He now starts spouting melodramatic lines during battle, though his every word is actually an expression of his honest feelings. Maximilian's secret ambition is to win fame on the battlefield and inspire a stage play based on his heroics as, a, as the savior of the country. And Jack. Potential f uh, future military officer in Rosalia, he was born into a noble family and his childhood friends with Rebino IV. His upbringing makes, 
makes him somewhat haughty and his speech and actions can be quite dramatic at times, repulsing the people around him. Nevertheless, uh, he wants nothing more than to protect his country and companions, uh, one of his better traits. Though still a trainee in terms of martial arts, Brendan and some of his other instructors feel that he shows great potential. Alright. So what's going to probably, yeah, what's going to end up happening is this is going to end up being the final battle, which isn't too bad. Um, they will fight to the last man, or until I take out Rubino himself. He at least got to level 10, good for him. Actually with the retreats he might actually end up having use of other units, but I'm not entirely certain. Alright, I just moved you, so I can't do anything with you. What do you got going on here? Not sure why these are in a wrong order, but okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll put pressure on uh, Stella again. Alright, so with that, so it's Pluto, Stella, and Yuki. So, Yuki, this young swordsman is the descendant of the House of Hazam. He breaks away from his clan and joins the morale of the war effort in order to make a name for himself. Although it hurts him to see how uh, fragmented his clan has become, he believes that he, if he achieves enough success from Morelva, he'll one day be able to call his father and younger sister to his side. The battlefield thus becomes a shortcut to the restoration of his family honor. So this is one of the um, individuals that split off. Alright, uh, with all that, we should be good to go. And good, they shifted, so I don't have to worry about that. Where did he move? Oh, he moved down here. Okay. Yeah, he's constantly shuffling. If he stopped shuffling his units so much, he would actually probably be a, a, in a better sh in better shape. All right. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and attack. All right. I may have a slight advantage in this battle. Poor men, so we've just been constantly battle wrecking this place with our battles. God, that icon looks amazing. For the um the primordial dragon. Uh we'll put uh, you there and you there. Oh, you look like a worthy opponent. This is going to be fun. You should feel honored for the chance to fight me. Has her class changed? Yes, it has. She's now officially a uh, pirate queen. So now she has preferred movement. Oh, that's that's because of her accessory. Yeah, per, for terrain force is actually pretty good. Um, gives a lot more flexibility. Dragon's destruction um, decreases attack and defense. Decreases own agility and exchange increases attack for a limited number of turns and the power of own next skill. Pretty brutal. All right, let's see what we can do. Zoom. Do 
Oh, didn't realize. Uh, oh, great power. That that's gonna greatly increase our first attack. All right, the mermaids are a non-issue. And what's this have access to? They don't have access to spells at all. They're just. They just get a bonus against anything that has bonuses to mountain terrain. Okay. Alright. Oh wow, she's in range. Um, I'm gonna put you right here. <laughs> just so I can block. There we go. Rather not provoke the uh, first strike when that buff is up. Okay, you can safely stand here. Terrify what that's gonna do. Okay. Well, I can limit the terror by being bait. Them, them, and them. So that semi are again getting range. We're not careful. And he's holy, so uh, let's uh, play it safe and just do this for now. Don't want to get in range of that semi arc at all. <laughs> Just stay there. Yep, here it comes. Okay, 178. Yes, yeah, send those in front. Put a big buffer between me and Stella as much as possible. Nice crit. That ghoul, man. He really wants to stay alive. Okay.
42%, huh? We'll go after you then. Not quite a kill. Oh, couldn't back away. That's annoying. Well, ground fire. Five range. Giving her force. Well, she's she's actually dark element, so I can at least resist it somewhat. Let's uh deal with you for now. Okay. Frost knuckles. Oh my god, you lived. And the good news is she's not enforced, right? She still has the attack buff, but she doesn't have the uh, bonus to next move buff. So, unfortunately the issue right now is we're getting kind of pushed in on. We're just going to fall back on you. You can stay in place. Uh, we're gonna put weakness on no one because you're out of range again. All right, in that case, we will put heal on you just so you can take another hit. But we'll wait on that. All 
Alright, I can hit a good number of units. It's not gonna kill, though. Die mention. Forcefully move a unit, single unit within a 4 hex radius. 74% chance. Question is, is it's completely random where this would send send somebody, and it could miss. So I think I'm gonna stick with Venom. Do not want you flanking my dragon. Gino Flame! Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, the heal didn't matter. Actually, I didn't heal, that's right. <laughs> Okay, turn four. Heavy impact, ninety three percent chance to hit. I'm not going to be concerned about killing units here. I need to just get these guys out of here. Apologies, but this is the best I can do. I hope my father and sister are doing well. I'm left behind mermaids, but I don't care about those. They're kind of in the way. Yeah, I'm 
unfortunately, I might be able to get kill. But I'm gonna lose. I'm definitely gonna lose a unit. Get some heals up. Probably on you. Okay. Dragon's destruction. Well, you survived. Good for you. Yeah. Bye bye, nightmare. Sucks to lose them, but that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Alright, uh, Geno Frost can kill. Two percent accurate. Good luck. Good. You're gonna stick around, huh? Oh yeah, use flame on a uh, primordial dragon. All right. Cool. Let's see what we can make happen now. So, well, one thing I definitely can do is burn you all alive. Next up. And I really don't want to blow up my rock. But you're not making this easy. Alright, so you're out of juice.
gonna make them pay with every monster. Okay. Uh, with this, I can flank. Uh, Lizardmen do have a final class. It's actually really good. I think they get like double actions or something like that. Sorry, Stella. This is all I can do. Stay in place. All right, what are you gonna do? Okay, good. Gotta go, retreat. So, lost a nightmare. But we can now upgrade something to a phoenix. Pretty hefty losses. Yeah, they lost to quite a bit. But they have plenty of mana, so they're not gonna be starving. Alright. So yeah, we're fighting these first, which means if they retreat, they could possibly carry their, their soldiers over, their uh, monsters over to the uh, final battle. Assuming I let them have any monsters. Alright, melody of my lullaby shall echo across the battlefield. Even I, Gratos, will become a demon if it will ensure in victory. Deploy. Alternating turns. Neat. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I am the Depressed Eeyore. This was Brigadine. I'll see you guys in a bit.